Well, lately with all my posts on uh, ponds and freshwater aquariums and all my other hobbies, I uh, feel like I've neglected my marine aquarium friends. And so here we are. I'll take you back to where I'm at with my uh, saltwater aquarium, reef aquarium, and give you a look. And it's been a hard struggle uh, currently for me and uh, my corals. My fish have been doing great, but the corals are suffering. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I usually have a peak season at work that's in the fall. I have to get through six or eight weeks of nonstop traveling every fall. And once I get to the holidays, I can get back. And, and usually the aquarium suffers, but I'll get over the hump and get back and get it all going. And I can usually get a good recovery. And, you know, I, I keep my, I, I don't do any hard corals or any of, the, or any of the difficult stuff. I just love my saltwater fish. And I love having corals, but I keep it to the low maintenance and I keep it to the easy as possible. And so, um, even still, you have to be able to do something. And it has been very difficult uh, this past season because I got over the, uh, I got through the holidays and then normal life circumstances came about uh, that were. Uh, uh, demanding my attention and just uh, several things going on in my life that were good actually good things but they took away from from my time at home and my time and my attention uh, uh, with my hobbies and stuff uh, and on top of that work didn't ease up I've been on non-stop travel since January week after week after week and I'm speaking to you today from a little break I had I had a cancellation in one of my work routines and I went ahead and blocked off that cancellation and made it a vacation week because I needed to do something with the marine aquarium. It also gave me time to start up my freshwater aquarium, uh, which hopefully you've seen the post on the freshwater. Uh, that's all new for me um, and uh, I'm excited about where that's going to where that's going to go. Um, I'd like to have done uh, actually another marine aquarium. Uh, but I, I found that maintaining two uh, marine aquariums is, is difficult when you, uh, as, as it is, just maintaining one marine aquarium when you're not even home but on weekends is near impossible. So um, uh, I, I'm, I'm admitting to you now the corals are suffering and I did a water change last weekend and I don't believe in doing a drastic water change. A lot of times that's a knee-jerk reaction. You take out 50% of the water and just, you know, try to... I mean, if you have a catastrophic event, you have no choice. But if you if your fish are doing good and your, your corals are suffering, you, you it's better not to do a shock like that. But So I did a, a, a minor water change last week and another small water change of a, a percentage uh, this week as well. And cleaned up. Oh, you could have seen the mess, but I, I cleaned it up. Uh, this brain coral is suffering severely. Uh, of course, most of the dead part of it was because mushrooms are on it, but then it started to recede back e even after I took it out and got mushrooms off of it. And looks like they attacked it again. So I'm finding the way back. The mushrooms are. Uh, and then my Duncan has not been the greatest. Uh, the zoos are doing good. All my zoos are doing good, but my um, my Duncan and my frog spawn, uh, it's only half out, not really doing as well as it should. Uh, my water parameters are, are looking fine. I mean, when I check them, uh, they're good. And so when that kind of happens, then you start to suspect light. So I thought it was just, you know, months go by and, uh, you know, I got the... I got LEDs, but I also have T5s. T5s should be changed at least once a year. Well, I think a good routine would be once a year, but um, it hasn't quite been a year, but it's getting close. And I'm starting to believe that if the corals aren't looking good, then maybe those T5s need to be changed every six months. So, um, uh, 
I ordered some new T5 lights. Hopefully I get those this well I will. I'll get those in a couple days and I'll put them in and hopefully that will will uh get these corals excited again and I'll continue to check my water parameters and so some of the corals are looking good. This blastomusus is looking fine. And but uh, in the bubble, the, this is the the bubble is actually react has been fantastic, very extended, huge. Uh, today it's a little crimped up because all the work I did in the aquarium yesterday. In fact, uh, before I, the Duncan itself it may end up looking better as the day goes on. There has been uh, I changed the current, I changed the power head so the current is flowing differently in the aquarium, and sometimes that's a that's a good plus. Uh, coralline has been going like gangbusters. It took me probably an hour to get all the coralline off the glass and, it, and you can see in the corner I hadn't got all of the coralline off the glass. Uh, some people just let it glow, uh, uh, grow, um, excuse me, but uh, I like to get it off. Uh, I like that clean look on the back glass. Um, and of course my Gregorian is, is growing and, and that's always been healthy. It's always been fabulous. Uh, fish wise I got my big eye he's getting bigger and bigger I probably wouldn't get another one of those because those things can get pretty big and why do I want to fish that big well that's okay and of course I have one more Blenny who's always fat the Royal Grama oh, is just so colorful and beautiful um, the old cardinal um, cardinal fish has been with me forever and uh, then uh, my chalk bass is up in the water column here. He's phenomenal. I can't tell you how beautiful he looks in in real life. I don't know how well in the video, but he just he's I love these fish. And uh, he's usually down, but he's a little shy with me up against the front of the glass. In fact, he's probably hoping I feed him something, and he's staying he's staying up in that area where you can get some food because I usually feed from this side and then uh, my uh, my blue tang which is an Atlantic blue tang and if you know what that means they're usually when they're juveniles they can be blue or yellow mine usually is um, yellow except for in the evenings he he kind of fades into a little bit of a blue as the as the evening comes down and he's out most of the day but he's hiding right now he's Probably thinking who's this guy he's been gone for weeks and all of a sudden uh, here I am I show up So I'd like to get him on video I may have to put it down stand away for a while and come back to it So let me try that Now I'm staying a little further away from the tank so he is out swimming around as you can see uh, He's made friends with everybody in fact, I, I think he may be the top of the pecking order now. And he's grown so much since I first put him on video. When was that? A couple months ago? And I love him. I think he's one of the most beautiful fish. Well, as far as pecking order goes, it looks like it goes back and forth between him and the big guy. But what I love about the uh, the Atlantic blue tang is that fluorescent blue that just is like a neon blue coming off the, the, the edges of the fins. Uh, and he goes from being, right now he's kind of in between blue and yellow, but he goes from um, <laughs> in between blue and yellow, kind of give you a green, but yeah, you can, uh, if he comes back out again, but... Sometimes he comes around this corner here. He he's normally he uh, he has a times of the day he's a brilliant yellow, uh, and and then other times he's especially in the evening he gets darker, almost a shade of blue to him. But I wish I can get a little closer. I'm gonna try to do that. But they're a wonderful fish.
anyway my uh, like I said my blue zoos are doing good and Coraline's doing great get a good view of that big eye uh, after all these years of having phenomenal looking uh, frog spawn it's receded back quite a bit so uh, I need to do uh, some checkup on my I ordered some new filter material some filter media I think I should say um, uh, my skimmer was actually I didn't think it was working but when I went to go clean it out and I did clean it out but it was it was functioning uh, but maybe it overflowed a little so trying to get this tank back to to good water quality so I'll be uh, taking any advice people want to leave below and I'll also be uh, checking my parameters on my test kits and doing whatever I need to do and and uh, get back and as always and and post in the future how things are going as you know this is a long-standing tank of many years and it's gone from uh, well it's gone from you know simple to to pretty much staying with simple but it's gone with its growth um, and an age it's just it's different when you just have a lot of money and you throw everything together and you post online a tank that's six months old well that's I feel like I'm almost doing that now with my freshwater tank because you know my freshwater tank I just post a video looks beautiful but what will it look like <laughs> give it a few months down the road to a year down the road and uh, that's really the 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 answer to um, whether you're successful or not but uh, I you know my measure of success uh, is just really staying in the hobby and keeping the fish and keeping them alive and and uh, and, and going you know taking the taking the bumps you know nothing nothing wrong with just keeping the aquarium going and just taking the bumps and, and and going with it progressing keep learning All right, that should give you a good update of how things are going with uh, my tank and we'll post again until next time